Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I actually wanted to come and do another client tutorial. You guys actually love these, so I wanted to go ahead and get another one on. This is sort of a soft, pinky look, um, something that's very wearable for anyone that's not used to color. And so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first I'm going to start by applying my moisturizer and I'm using the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer and it's the oil free one. And then after I get done applying the moisturizer, I'm going to go in with my primer and I'm using the Lorac Primer. I'm so sensitive. Alright, and then I've already taken a spoolie and brushed the brows into place. I'm going to begin by defining the brows and I'm taking my MAC spiked brow pencil and I'm just going to pretty much follow her shape because she definitely has a really nice shape and so I'm just going to go with the flow. And then I'm going to take my spoolie and just blend out the color just so it's not so harsh and I'm going to go in with a Graftobian foundation and this is actually what I'm going to use to define her eyebrows on the top and the bottom. The foundation that I'm using is called Caramel and it is like I said from Gratopian. And I'm actually going to also use that on her face. Um, this is the color that I like. Um, it's very, very um, cool. So it definitely has those yellow tones. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my um, blending brush. And I typically, with working on clients, try my best not to use my fingers as I would on myself. So that is the reason why I'm just buffing it out with the um, blending brush. Alright, so I bought the foundation all the way down to the lid to act as a base. And then I'm just setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And this is going to give it a matte finish and then I'm going to go in with saddle and apply that into the crease and then apply my base onto the lid and I'm using the same foundation to do so. Alright next I'm going to go ahead and apply this Inglot Pure Pigment and this one is in number 82 and I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And I love this pigment. It has that rosy gold sort of effect and it's iridescent. So when you change and switch into lighting, it sort of changes colors. Um, then I'm going to go in with a dark brown eyeshadow and place that into the outer V and kind of smoke it out. And then I'm going to add my eyeliner and I'm using the Inglot Gel Liner. You guys, this is freaking amazing. I will never use another liner for my clients ever. It's super dark and it applies so smoothly. All right, next I'm going to take a soft champagne sort of color. Um, it's like a little bit of gold, and I'm going to apply that in the inner tear duct area as far as the first half of the lid. And then I'm going to apply my lashes, and I'm just taking really inexpensive lashes to apply. I love these because I can um, purchase a lot at a time, especially when doing a lot of clients and when you're doing brides um, and dealing with bridal parties. Inexpensive lashes are definitely the way to go. Alright, then I'm going to go in with my foundation and I am still taking that caramel um, foundation and applying that all over the face. Now, I chose to use Graftobian foundation because I tried using MAC and I really just don't like it on um, this particular client um, because she's like sort of in between colors and so I love the fact that I can customize her foundation. So that's the reason why I do like my Graftobian as well. Um, in addition to my MAC sometimes, but yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and buff it out with my Beauty Blender. Hey. 
and I'm just going to add as much coverage as um, needed um, she does have just a little bit of dark spots and so I love that this foundation is very very much so buildable and so until I get the coverage that I want I'm just gonna go ahead and continue adding a little bit on not to cake it up but to just make sure I'm covering up everything you can also color correct if you would like um, I just choose to use this foundation because it does give great coverage Now I'm going to take another foundation and I'm just adding one that's two shades lighter and I'm just applying that on all the areas that I want to highlight and then I'm going to go ahead and take a brown cream contour foundation and I'm just using one that has like more of a golden color because I wanted to warm her up. I didn't want to go too dark but I just wanted her to have that bronzy feel. you guys and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff all that out um, once I get all the foundation blended then I will go ahead and set the face and for setting the face I'm actually going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna place it on all the areas that I highlighted Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm taking my Graptobian Foundation Powder Palette and I'm just bronzing her face. And then I'm going to go in with the same palette and just set the skin. And this foundation powder actually gives me great coverage and it's super buildable. If I had to compare it, I would say as far as coverage, it's similar to like Studio Fix powder as far as coverage wise. Um, it still gives you that matte look. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. You guys, I love this blush. It's super soft and gorgeous on all complexions. And it's definitely a sort of soft, buildable blush, if that makes any sense. I mean, it shows up on my complexion as well when I do apply it if I'm looking for something super soft. Then I'm going to go in and highlight the face. You guys know this is my favorite part and this is my client's favorite part. She loves to glow. So I'm taking my Makeup Addiction Glow 2 palette once again. And I'm just gonna mix two shades to make her glow amazingly. Like, I love it. I love it. And then I'm gonna add my mascara to the top lashes as well as the bottom. I prefer to add my mascara after I apply lashes just for a more dramatic look more defined especially if the lashes are super curly um, in her case my clients lashes are very very curly so I like this um, method better all right for the lips I'm going in with night moth now originally I was going for like a burgundy but I did want to stick to what my client actually has at home and so I ended up mixing it with a chestnut liner. And so the lipstick that I'm applying is Myth. I didn't apply any gloss, as you can see. Um, it still has that sort of sheeny look, but it's super, super gorgeous. And it looks good on every complexion. And I love to wear it myself. And so as you will see, I'm just applying that lipstick, then going back in with the chestnut liner, just to give it a little bit more definition. So 
all right you guys so this is what the lip looks like as you can see my client was definitely feeling herself and I sprayed a little bit of fix plus because she loves that to death and then I'm going to go ahead and set that with the benign final seal to make sure that it lasts and it mattifies the face Alright, then we're going to go in with her hair. Now, she's actually rocking one of my custom units. Definitely, you can email me if you guys are interested in purchasing any units. I will have a wig sale coming soon. Um, but if you're interested in me making you a unit custom, you also can definitely email me. And so, I'm just going to go ahead and style her hair because she had an event to go to. And I am just going in and adding a conditioned mix that I love to use on my curly hair. You guys always ask me what I use and this is actually it. Now it doesn't need like expensive conditioner. It's just how you mix it. And so I'm just gonna go in and add some baby hairs and pull those out and go ahead and continue styling her hair. Alright you guys, so as you can see my client was definitely feeling herself at the end. Um, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you try it out, definitely tag me. Um, and yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think of this look. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. So